Okay, guys. Um, hi. Um, my name's Ryan Bramley. I'm a second year English language and literature student at the University of Sheffield. Uh, this is the first video blog um, for the filmmaking and the engaged curriculum project, uh, which is being funded by the engaged curriculum fund at the University of Sheffield. Um, so first of all, before I start, um, a few thank yous. Um, of course, the engaged curriculum fund, uh, without them, I wouldn't be talking to the camera right now. Um, so massive thank you for that. Um, and also to uh, Dr. De uh, Dr. David Forrest and uh, Professor Brendan Stone, um, for a few reasons really. Um, first of all, for um, for leading the Story in Sheffield project, uh, because without that, I wouldn't be again speaking to the camera right now. Uh, that's kind of where this interest of the, of this project was kind of led on from. Um, but also for helping putting the project outline and the uh, proposal together as well, um, especially on Dave's part with that one, um, because. He, without him you know th this was just an idea of mine that i came up with um he helped me turn it into an actual project so again without that help this won't be happening right now um so yeah the name of this blog is day one as you can see um but i'm not actually sure how accurate that is because it, it isn't really day one day one was months ago um when I when I first um, had this idea of doing this project, um, kind of w was stimulated by kind of all the things going on about the miners' strike. Now uh, the thirtieth anniversary of of course strike is very timely, um, and as a Barnsley resident um, and obviously Barnsley being you know quite a big town then um, in terms of industry. Um, Looking at it from somebody who wasn't around at the time of, of the miners' strike, I was really interested in what it was actually like. Um, I didn't feel, even though I'd been to these events um, that have been held in Barnsley and in, you know, indeed across the country right now, um, commemorating the strike, I didn't feel that I fully understood what it was really like at the time and what the sense of community really was like. You hear all these stories, so many different stories that you hear from people uh, just in normal conversation. Um, but I didn't feel I properly understood. And obviously, with the help of David, um, this was turned into into a project. Um, but ever since I had that idea, it's been on my mind pretty much ever since. And um, you know, I'll, I'll see things, I'll, I'll see a, a certain something or whatever, and, and I'll be like, oh, no, you know, that that looks great, or whatever. I could use this, or you know, I'll be speaking to somebody about something else that will lead onto this, and and all of a sudden, you know, I've I've got somebody to interview for the project. That's happened with the majority of the people that I'm arranging interviews with now. Um, so yeah, but you know, you, you're constantly thinking and constantly putting these ideas in your head, and you know, I'm I'm trying to write them all down on paper as quick as I can. Um, and really, I think that's down to. To, to the nature of this project, you know, as, as a creative practices research um, project, I think that that kind of induces you with, with these, with this kind of, you know, the stimulated thinking. Um, whereas, you know, some more traditional methods of learning, as valuable as they are, don't really get you doing that. And I think combining the two, you know, your essay and exam style, um, you know, of writing, with, with doing something like this and reflecting on it, not just you know, by hand, not just you know typing on a computer, but also by video. Um, I think that's a great way of tracking your learning progress, and you know, how are you actually going about it? How are you kind of you know putting these ideas and these concepts together, and actually having something you know visual to show for it too? Um, so yeah, that's all to come. That's all to come. Um, so yeah, and. I, th I think w one of the main kind of turning points when, when I'm when I'm speaking about you know, even even after day one all that time ago, um, what one of the main kind of like events if you like, um, was when I was at the uh, Experience Barnsley Museum, um, which is in the town hall in Barnsley in the centre. Um, it's if you've not been, fantastic place to go. Um, whether you're interested in Barnsley itself or, or anything really to do with with local heritage, it's, it's brilliant. Um, and whilst I was there, I was having a look around and um, I bumped into Anne Scargill, who I'd recognised from one of the videos they were showing there. They were showing a uh, 
It was a coal not dome project, um, which was another film, um, and it was speaking to lights fans Scargill, Betty Cook, etc., who were part of the uh, Women Against Pig Foragers um, group, who were at the kind of at the forefront of uh, what was going on there. So I bumped into her and um, basically, you know, got we got talking and I said, look, I'm doing, I'm on about doing this film. I put this proposal together. Hopefully, going to get funding for it. Um, you know, can, can we can we meet up? Can we talk about things and you know and kind of do an interview? Um, and she was really keen on doing it. And I'm currently trying to arrange that now. Uh, fingers crossed with that one. Um, but yeah, and. What she did say then as well was, um, you know, we're having this event, uh, we're having a bit of like a, I think it's a bit of a gala or something at the National Union, uh, sorry, NUM, no, National Union of My Workers even, um, at the offices, head offices in, in Barnsley. Um, you know, it's on Saturday, come along and go to it. And this was, like I say, a few months ago. Um, and I went along and, um, I mean, first of all, I got this book, which, which has been really helpful, striking back. Um, it's basically, it's um, kind of a photographic history of um, of the strike of eighty four to eighty five. Brilliant book. It's really helped me as well. Um, oh, three pounds fifty seven. That was good. Uh, but um, you know, I saw that, and then I kind of I went into the hall um, in the offices, and they had a big hall, and it was set up, you know, wooden chair. Oh, sorry, wooden like kind of styles and that. It was, it was almost like walking into a church. It was it was incredible, and um, I came in. I came in late, which is you know it's seems to be a, a passion of mine um, and I came in and um, and was speaking at the front and um, with all these wonderful banners and all these wonderful you know posters and everything things that we'd used at the time the, the banners that, that were kind of done for the collieries um, were incredible they really were they all still hang at the NUM offices too and it, it's fantastic to see them um, but yeah and all of a sudden, um, there was a brass band at the front, and and they they kind of asked everybody to stand if they could. And obviously, there were some people from from generations before who, who weren't able to, but anybody who could stood up, and the whole hall fell deathly silent. And um, the band played a song. Um, I, I can't, I don't remember the name of the song, but it didn't really matter. Um, but I stood there and, you know, as as a twenty year old. Um, 20 year old lad um, who wasn't involved in it and there was a lot of young people there too um, but kind of stood there and listened to them and um, I, I, I don't quite <laughs> still can't like, understand why now but I heard this song and just kind of overwhelmed by the feeling of it all looking around me and you know all the, it was just proud it was, a, it was like a proud moment and I stood there and I just felt tears welling up in my eyes um, you know, for somebody who you know, doesn't cry that often, um, to feel that there, it, it, I knew it was a special moment. And um, I, again, like I say, I, I couldn't quite put my finger on what it was, but I think if I could, it was it was pride, and you know, pride and maybe a bit of sadness too. But at the same time, you know, one of, one of the main things that I'm, I'm looking at this pro in this project is the sense of community back then, and does any of that exist in Barnsley today? And even if it was just within those walls, I'm confident that there is a remnant of it that still lasts. Because you know, like I said, the hall was full. There were people stood at the back, myself included, um, and it was just it was you know, it, it was just a proud moment, and it was it was fantastic to see. Um, so and that that really kind of stimulated me to to do this project now um that, that was kind of a turning point it, it, it came from a oh this is a good idea um let's go do this uh to right okay i i really 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 need to make this you know something good um and go ahead with it and um so yeah and like i say that's that, that's something that i think only these kind of projects really kind of induce within you this creative kind of you know outlook and this way of way of seeing things um which only a project like this i think i think can can lead you to um so yeah so like i say it it's day one in terms of video blogs but that is really where it where it you know where it remains because ever since that day i've been thinking how can i do this how can i go about this you know this will look good um 
you know, see, seeing the statue of the coal baby, uh, which was erected uh, not long ago outside the uh, interchange back home in Barnsley, and seeing that and this whole idea of you know maybe my generation of being born of coal, the mother if, if it is coal has, has gone and it's this is what it's left behind and uh, you know hopefully this this videos this film you know what it's made is going to open up this question of does this sense of community still exist today and like I said with the with the NUM thing I think it still does to an extent um, but you know maybe maybe the coal baby is some some way of, of understanding you know understanding what we've been left with and um you know i feel i might be coming back to this um later on this this, this symbol but um yeah we'll see how it goes